Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. You go to a hobby concert this time. Well, I'm Reba McIntyre. Put me back in here now. Yeah, y'all beautiful. Recorded live from Austin, Texas, it's Austin City Limits. Welcome to Austin City Limits, and I'm Rodney Crowell. Ronnie Millsap was never pigeonholed by a particular musical style. He was a genre-busting crossover crooner, equally adept at country, rock, and soul music. Ronnie was one of the most versatile singers of his time and appealed to audiences with clever wordplay and heartfelt emotion. He resisted definition, even as the reach of his music grew ever wider and more inclusive. So here's Ronnie Millsap at Austin City Limits. Now here's Ronnie Millsap. Shouldn't want to keep you 
you if you don't want to stay until you're gone forever. I keep holding on for your life, holding you this way, begging you to stay any day now. When the clock strikes go, you'll call it off. And then my tears will flow. Then my wild, beautiful bird, you will have flown. Oh, in a day now, love will let me down. Cause you won't be around. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. you've made in my life what a difference you've made in my life you're my sunshine day and night oh what a difference you've made in my What a change you've made in my heart You replaced all the broken parts Oh, what a change you have made in my heart Once again, folks, let me say good evening to you. What a pleasure to be in Austin, Texas this evening. Yes. And doing all the traveling that we do, of course, we have a chance to see Austin City Limits a lot. And I must say, we've been waiting for, I guess, about five years to get down here and do this show. And y'all have such a good time down here that we want to be a part of it. Thank y'all for joining us this evening very much. What we try to do as soon as we can, and boy, I love having y'all down so close to us. It's like being in your own living room playing and singing and picking, isn't it? Yeah. And what we want to do, we have a lot of things that I've recorded over the years, and uh, some of the most requested songs that we get. Uh, this is, Hey, I love you. I love you, darling. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> But the, some of the most requested songs that we get, that's what we're going to do for you right now. They're all in a cluster, and they're all number one right here. I'm having daydreams about night things in the middle of the afternoon. And while my hands make a living, my mind's home loving you. I'm having daydreams about Daydreams come true. Yeah, every night you make my daydreams come true. 
took some time to clear my mind and give myself a change of atmosphere. I had some fun lying in the sun. Daytona's nice this time of year. I saw lovers hand in hand building castles in the sand and doing all the things we did back then. But just when I think I'm through loving you, you're back on my mind again. comes along and you came to me it was almost like a song you were in my arms right where you We were so in love Oh, it was almost like a song January through December We had such a perfect year Then the flame became a die Baby, it's pure love. Yeah! A milk and honey and cat and crunch and you in the morning. Hit me bad right now. Pure love. You're the picture of pure love. 99 and 44, 100% pure love. Oh, wake up with sunshine. Live beside me. Oh, and bluebirds singing right outside my window. You saw warm kisses, say good morning. Oh, and then I get breakfast in bed. You know you make me so happy. Oh, make me happy with you, with your pure love. Oh, with your pure love. Oh, 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 o
you can walk out on me tonight If you think that it ain't feeling right But darling, listen There ain't no getting over me Think about it, darling I'll be the bill you forgot to pay I'll be the dream that keeps you awake Tell the boys no, don't you know? You can tell everyone that we're through. <laughs> And you might even believe it too. But darling, there ain't no getting over me. What a difference you made in my life. Millsap was born blind, and he was shunned by his mother, who believed his condition was a punishment from God. He spent his formative years at the Governor Moorhead School for the Blind, and it was there that Ronnie discovered his true love and passion for music.
all my professional life I've always wondered why does Ray Charles always look up at the sky when he's playing you know Somebody tired now, now. Oh, you set my own fire when you sing that song. Oh, girls, don't let me drown. Cause you know the night time is the right time. To be with the one you love. Yes, dear, now. I wonder if I could get somebody to step out this evening. How about Carrie? Come on out here, son, and play a little blues for the people, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. I, 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 I can hear him talking about the people that ain't got nobody. You gotta get redressed when you get up. The strangest thing happened to me the other day. I was back home in Nashville. And I went by to see my family doctor. Dr. Feelgood is his name. I, I remember walking into the doctor's office and I said, Doctor! I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I said, Doc, I've been out on the road touring for a long time, making a lot of people's happy out there. And I said, I'm not, I'm not falling apart or anything like that, but I've been noticing lately that some of my hair is falling out. And getting a little bit of short of breath, Maybe I need some bifocals. I haven't been seeing too well lately. <laughs> Give me some of those Coke bottle glasses. So I asked for a physical examination, and he said he could do that. So I jumped up and down on the table about 20 times, and he looked into my ears. And... <laughs> no, sir, I did not cough. No way. <laughs> But he took out that cold stethoscope and put it on my chest and turned to his good-looking nurse and I heard him say, You know, the old boy may be barely breathing, but his heart of rock and roll is still beating. Everything 
USA and no place that I'd rather be. Where else can you do a half a million things all at a quarter to three? When they play the music, ooh, that modern music, they play with a lot of style. But it's still that same old backbeat rhythm that really, really drives them wild. They say the heart of rock and roll is still be. Francisco too. Everywhere there's music, real live music. Bands play with a million styles, but it's still that same old rock and roll music that really, really drives them wild. They, 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 they say the heart of rock and roll is to be. And from what I see, I believe I'm all the old man and bad and breathing. But the heart of rock and roll, heart of rock and roll is still beating. Happy birthday, baby Although you're with somebody new Thought I'd drop a line to say That I wish this happy day Would find me beside you Happy, happy birthday, baby no, I can't call you my baby Seems like years ago we met On a day I can't forget Cause that's when we fell in love Do you remember The names we had for each other I didn't spoil your birthday I know I'm acting kind of crazy So I'll close this note to you With good luck and wishes too Happy, happy birthday, baby
I didn't spoil your birthday I know I'm acting kind of crazy So I'll close this note to you With good luck and wishes too Happy, happy birthday, baby. I want to, my grandfather, uh, he turned 91 back in the middle of July, about, about six months ago, I guess, by the time the folks see this, actually. I like to mention him because uh, when I was growing up, folks, he was, he was really like a father to me and spent so much time trying to help me. And uh, he still lives up in the Smoky Mountains, Western North Carolina, for years. I've tried to get him to move to Nashville. I said, why don't you move up there where I can take real good care of you, you know? He just won't do it. He's stubborn. He told me he's got a widow woman up there that can take better care of him than I can. <laughs> yeah, she's about 89, got more experience, too. <laughs> he's probably having more fun than all of us. Right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, like, I, I think about him when I do this next song because it takes me back to a time. I was eight years old, and he and I spent a night together in a big old house up in the Smokies. This house was haunted. At least that's what the people in town told us. And folks, you know when you're eight years old, you believe. Whatever it is, you believe what they tell you. I can remember getting to the house that evening and there was no one there but my grandfather and me that night. I kept hearing noises. He went to sleep. I kept hearing something sound like boards creaking. And Doors slamming. Something sound like footsteps walking up and down the hall all night long. He was asleep, but I couldn't get out of bed. I was afraid there was something out there gonna grab me. Oh! I kept thinking something was gonna scream at me. There's a stranger in my house. Oh! here between us I've never heard before and I can't find the love in her eyes anymore there's some changes going on I'm beginning to understand when I'm holding her I swear I feel the presence of another a stranger in my house Somebody here that I can't see A stranger in my house Somebody here trying to take her away from me No! She sits staring out the window A million She's all right She never has too much to say Is it somebody we both know? Oh, Lord Or somebody she just met Is she loving him in her mind? While the girl's lying here in my bed There's a stranger in my house Somebody here
Suspicions lead to questions And questions to alibis Is it just my imagination? Welcome back to Austin City Limits. I'm Rodney Crowell. Between 1985 and 1987, Ronnie Millsap enjoyed a series of uninterrupted number one country singles. The diversity of his output was astonishing, and Ronnie was unafraid to experiment with synthesizers, strings, and horns, anything that would broaden his sound. With his trademark sunglasses, his cool urban cowboy style, and soft rock production techniques, he simply dominated the airwaves. This ACL performance from 1987 shows Ronnie at the height of his powers with a set list packed with hit after hit after hit. So let's hear more from Ronnie Millsap at Austin City Limits. I moved to Nashville in 1972, and uh, prior to that, I was living in Memphis for four years. I had several jobs in Memphis. One was working in a recording studio, uh, playing piano and keyboards on other artists' records. It's kind of where I got my recording experience and understanding of the record-making process. During that time, the most memorable sessions that I had was working with Elvis Presley on two albums that... One of the biggest records he had in that time was a song called Kentucky Rain. And Lord have mercy, Elvis just knocked me out the day. He said, I wonder if we can get a little bit of thunder on the piano. And I played, you know, I got to thinking when Smoky Mountain Rain came along, maybe some of that same thunder would work. You know, and uh, that day of magic stuck out of my mind. And uh, you're going to hear some similarity in Kentucky Rain and, and, and my Smoky Mountain Rain. I thumb my way from L.A. back to Knoxville I find out those bright lights ain't where I belong From a phone booth in the rain I call to tell her I've had a change of dreams, I'm coming home But tears filled my eyes when I found out she was gone
take the diesel down outside a cafe. He said that he was going as far as Gatlinburg. I climbed up in the cab all wet and cold and lonely. I wiped my eyes and told him about her. I've got to find her. Can you make these big wheels burn? Smoky mountain rain keeps on falling. I keep on calling her name. Smoky mountain rain, I'll keep on searching. I can't go on. She's somewhere in the Smoky Mountain rain. I can't blame her for letting go. A woman needs someone warm to hold. I feel the rain running down my face. I find her no matter what it takes. No beginning of, uh, about a year and a half ago, beginning of the 50s revival in Nashville. Also my fourth Grammy winner called Lost in the 50s tonight. Yeah. All right. Maybe I need to put on my 50s glasses. Let's see. Uh... drive the bus with these on, I think. <laughs> Maybe so? No. <laughs> okay. Close your eyes, baby. Follow my heart. Call on the memory. Here in the dark We'll let the magic Take us away Back to the feelings We shared when they played In the still in the 
fifties tonight. Yes, I am. These precious hours we know can't survive. Love's all that matters, yeah While the past is alive Now and for always Till time disappears We'll hold each other Whenever we hear In the still Ronnie Millsap moved to Nashville in 1972 after a chance meeting with country music star Charlie Pratt, who was in the audience for Ronnie's show at the Whiskey A Go Go in Los Angeles. Charlie was impressed with Ronnie's singing and encouraged him to lean into country music. Here 
in the band now.
the studio on the University of Texas campus is iconic, legendary, amazing artists have put, you know, performed amazing shows through the years. We really wrapped our heads around this concept of moving out of that original studio, which can only hold 300 people, into a three-level venue that could hold up to 3,000 people, potentially. And how to preserve that intimate environment and that vibe by blowing it up to such a big scale. When it became obvious that we were going to be incredibly involved, really, when you think about it, in the design of the new facility, and we were in all the meetings, and we met with the theater consultants, and the theater consultants actually had a, a lot of reverence for the original studio as well, and were fans of the show. They've done a great job at maintaining the intimacy that we had in our original studio, but also just raising the level of everything to just be, you know, the best audio, the best lighting, and just the best experience for anyone coming to an event here. Basically, this floor is about the same size as our original studio. And so all that's happened really is we've gone up from there. Our stage is down literally like two or three feet off the, the floor to enhance that connection between the artist and the audience. The doors weigh like lead because the goal is to keep the sound out and to keep the sound in at the same time. The audio control room is state of the art, great acoustics, acoustic treatment. We've basically created a big badass recording studio that also doubles as a live music venue. Frankly, most of the people who've done our show here, who also were lucky enough to perform in the original studio, they like this better. They like the energy in the room. They like the fact that there are more people that they can perform to and connect with. You know, the move here was the result of a lot of elements coming together at the right time with the right team and the result was to create one of the most spectacular music venues in this country.